documents don't reveal the secret of what it looks like, only that its cannon-like front end shoots out an invisible ray. Colonel Schroeder Strantz has invented an X-ray beam. Using the technical knowledge available at the time, it might have looked like this. Despite shortages caused by the war, Nazi scientists still have access to valuable metals and measuring instruments, which were by now extremely rare. A trial run claims that the weapon shoots out a bolt of radiation that can be detected up to 25 miles away. The SS and Colonel Strands are successful. But then, mysteriously, the file is closed. The special unit is disbanded in October 1944 with no explanation to be found to this day. Shrouded in secrecy, Hitler's science straddles the border between fact and fiction. But one of the Fuhrer's quests is beyond dispute. It is the most desperate and decisive race of all. Who will be the first? to build an atomic bomb. Nineteen forty three. The scientists continue their work at the secret city on the Baltic. The tide of war continues to turn against the Third Reich. In the east, the German army is turned back at Stalingrad. Hitler's invasion of Russia collapses into panic, slaughter, and retreat. And in the West, British pilots record the first aerial images of the Peenemunde factories and rocket launching buildings. British bombers pound the complex, targeting the dormitories where Hitler's scientists and engineers live. Hundreds are killed. To a certain extent, um, Pina Munda never totally recovered. Uh, they lost a lot of key personnel, scientists, research equipment. Pina Munda's production is moved underground to mountain fortresses and remote mines safe from Allied blockbusters. Elsewhere, Stuttgart, Germany, 1944. Nazis plot the ultimate weapon to win the war, an atomic bomb. A team of German scientists attempt to unlock the secret of nuclear fission to produce electric power. Half a world away, physicists at Los Alamos, New Mexico are on the same quest, using the radioactive uranium of the American West to set off the world's first nuclear weapon. But the Germans have their own atomic genius. Nobel Prize winner Werner Heisenberg. Heisenberg and his team call themselves the Uranium Club. But the German army has other plans for the Atom Smashers. In early 1945, neither the US military nor researchers know anything about the state of nuclear capability in Germany. A secret U.S. project, codenamed Operation Alsos, is established to find out if the German atomic bomb project exists. Outside the city of Stuttgart, beneath a castle in Heigerloch, Alsos agents discover an atomic reactor in a stone cellar. And uranium cubes hidden in a field nearby. They take the evidence back to the United States for further investigation. Months earlier at this same medieval castle, clandestine shipments of heavy water, a key ingredient to nuclear power, arrive here from Nazi-occupied Norway. Despite valiant attempts from the Norwegian resistance to prevent it from ever reaching Germany. A secret code reveals the amount of deuterium inside each transferred barrel. Deuterium, an isotope of hydrogen, makes water about 10% heavier. 
The Nazis planned to combine this shipment of heavy water with the cubes of uranium to begin the nuclear age. On every front, from stealth technology to nuclear power, Hitler's push for scientific success is fueled by the Nazi dream of a global Reich, a German empire lasting a thousand years, where a massive railway system connects main power centers from Siberia to Moscow, Paris, and Berlin. Berlin, the capital, is to be renamed Germania. the dominant high-tech centerpiece of a new world order. But by March 1945, the dream is fading fast, and Hitler is growing desperate. With Allied forces closing in on Germany, only a wonder weapon can save the Third Reich. But at the Trinity site in the New Mexico desert, it's America who proves the power of the atomic bomb. What the Allies were very much interested in when the war was at its end was, what about the German atomic bomb? How um, far did they come? This was the, the final question. And so they decided to put the 10 leading um, atomic scientists together in the farm hall near Cambridge. And, and there, there in the farm hall they were bugged. And um, the outcome was that obviously the Germans first had no atomic bomb and second had also in the end not a clue about the function of the atomic bomb. But what about the Nazi wonder weapons that did come to pass? And where do they live on today? The world's first cruise missile. First long-range ballistic missile. First guided surface-to-air missile. First anti-ship missiles. Even the world's first closed-circuit TV. The world's first operational jet fighter and jet bomber. In aerodynamics in Germany, there were a small group of people who were very, very advanced. And there, there is some sort of a special genius about it. Countless designs, years ahead of their time. Secret sites wholly dedicated to science. Backed by propaganda, boasting German money and fearful enemies. How could Hitler's plan for wonder weapons fail? In Germany, virtually everything was a secret. So the, any science was a secret. It hurt the Germans more than it hurt us. They also had a, a very, very confining security system. And so there was a, not the cross feed that you get in a, in a good scientific community. Uh, you had enthusiasts building dreams, but without adequate resources. You had people making decisions about resources who had no idea about the projects. And at the top, you had Hitler making the final decisions on many things upon which he had only partial information. Such controlled secrecy slowed wartime production to a devastating degree. The Germans ultimately produced about uh, 1,300 ME-262s, of which they got 300 in combat. And at the time, we were putting 1,000 bombers and 1,000 fighters over Germany in a day. <laughs> 